Well, hey everyone, welcome to day nine of our 21 days of prayer. Hey, how we're spending the first part of the second week is we are just learning how to understand what God's priorities are as we are in the reorder part of praying. We're saying, Father, you first. And so what are God's priorities? Well, one of the second ways uh, that we can understand what God's priorities is, is by actually listening and learning from other followers of Jesus. In fact, uh, when we read scripture, uh, this is what scripture says, uh, listen to advice and accept discipline. And at the end, you will be counted among the wise, which I wanna be wise, I don't know about you, but, but I wanna be known as wise. And so the, this author continues, says, many are the plans in a person's hearts, but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. And so this Lord's purpose, that's what we're praying for. We're saying, Father, you first, that his kingdom comes. And so how do we know what his purpose is? Well, one of the ways that we do this is uh, by connecting with other followers of Jesus, and we can listen and hear from them. Often God reveals his will and his heart for us uh, through other followers of Jesus. And so a couple examples of where I began to experience this. Uh, when I've ever wondered what some ideas and uh, God's priorities were, I actually had some close friends who I knew who were helping, uh, who were following Jesus, help me with some advice. And so for example, uh, several years ago, my wife and I were praying about moving to Wisconsin to be a part of the Ridge and, and to help uh, lead our student ministry here. We had close friends that we had prayed with us and that would help us discern whether that was a right decision. And you know what? We're so glad that God led us here. It was, it, it turned out really well. You know, when I was getting ready to propose to my wife, Andrea, and I was wondering, hey, is, is this gonna be the right choice? I had some friends that I asked for some advice and they gave me some honest feedback to speak into our relationship and help me discern. Yeah, Andrea is the right uh, woman for me to propose to and for us to get married. Again, I'm so glad that I had uh, wise friends speaking to me uh, into that, but you know, there were also times that I had some dreams and some ideas that I had, and I would bring it to a couple of close friends that knew me really well, and I'd share it with them, and I'd wonder if I would be the one to carry out those dreams. And they were really honest with me, and they said, hey, you know what, we, we look at that dream, we look at God's wiring, the dream is good, and how God wired you is good, but it might not be the right fit, and that might not be the dream for you. And so what we hear is if we have wise friends around us, they can help us discern God's purpose for us. And so here's what I want to encourage you to do with this is I want to encourage you that if you have a dream or a prayer or something that you're wondering if you should take, ask God, hey, who is the friend that who is the person that he has brought in your life that, that you can talk about that with and ask them, hey, what do you think about this? And see how God reveals this plan uh, to you. So go ahead and do that today. And we'll see you tomorrow as we continue the 21 days of prayer.